Hey everybody, and welcome to HSN. My name is Guy. I'm gonna be with you for the next three hours. Our uh, first hour is Kitchen Innovations. Great stuff. We have these amazing, amazing keto bars. We got something brand new called the Spoon Buddy. Can't wait to get to that. But I wanted to give you a quick taste of the uh, Ninja Booty, which is coming up a little bit later. We are down to our last two colors, but you can only find the colors here at HSN. I have it in black, and I also have it in white. I mean, this has revolutionized how people are cooking out there. You know, people love pressure cookers, but they're kind of like, yeah, you can only do so much in a pressure cooker because, you know, you want that crispy skin and all that stuff. Well, you're not only going to be able to pressure cook, but you also get that crisping feature with these as well. We have the lowest price anywhere in the country, still at $219.98. It's free shipping and handling. If you want to make life easy, save money because you're not going to use your big oven all the time and get really great results, you need to try this huge customer pick. Over 130 five-star reviews. We give you that triple layer. There it is, the rack right there. So you can do layered cooking as well. That's coming up a little bit later. Rochelle Lucas will be joining us. I'm excited about that because the food is going to be delicious. We got a little bit of everything in this hour. And for those of you that love sweets, but you want to do it without the guilt, you don't want the sugar, maybe you're on one of those keto diets or low carb or whatever, then you need to try our keto clusters. These things are slam dunk, some of the best tasty candies you will ever have, but you have it without the guilt. And that's why we made it our smart deal today. Absolutely delicious, uh, sugar-free, gourmet flavor, um, but low carb. You have a choice of the 20 or 40 count. Today we're doing uh, the dark chocolate and sea salt. Or you can do the uh, dark chocolate and, and uh, uh, sea salt caramel. So either or, you have the choice of a 20 pack or a 40 pack. My producer Kevin said we are very limited. We're down to hundreds in each. The 20 is 24.95 um, and you get uh, 20 bars and the 40 count is 44 and you get 40 bars. Cheryl Boyle is here. Hello, my dear. Hi. So everybody around here is like, have you ever tasted <laughs> these okay. bars? And I'm like, I had, to, I had the peanut butter cup ones. Okay. Slam dunk for yeah. good stuff. Right? I mean, like, I get that peanut, peanut butter cup sensation, flavor, all that stuff, but everybody said these are even better. Oh, I love these. You love these. Well, these are the ones that you get. You get a little protein in these as well because yep. they have nuts inside, but I'm just telling you, order quickly. If you love to snack, but you feel guilty all the time, you need to try this. Because Look at all the yummy stuff we put inside. They, they are delicious and nutritious. So I love to tell people, like, first and foremost, I'm not going to get you to eat good unless it tastes fantastic. Right. right? So, but I love the fact that these have absolutely zero sugar. There's only 110 calories, only two net carbs. And they're for everyone. Ladies, these are what I think is a candy bar replacement. They are packed with peanuts and almonds. And we actually use chia seeds and pumpkin seeds but we're giving you our delicious healthy fats and we're giving you that delicious fair trade chocolate. And when you bite into them, there is this like texture, yeah. flavor, explosion it's so good. that it's you're so not good. gonna believe it. It's so, it's so wonderful with absolutely zero guilt. So you're getting this amazing treat and you're getting six grams of protein, which that's a good excuse to eat that candy. <laughs> it's what that is. It Plain is, and simple. But it does taste like a candy bar. Y you know what? And if, like the famous, you know the famous candy bar that has the peanuts and the caramel and all that good stuff? Yep. It tastes like that. That satisfies but you? I love that you said, what you said that's really important though is the fact that you're eating this and you don't, you don't, it doesn't taste like you're eating something that's sugar-free. No. It honestly, I, I'm telling you, it is completely, it'll fool the senses, but it's so dang good. And you're not going to sit there and pull one of these out and be like, oh, maybe I should or shouldn't. No, this is this is good stuff for you, right? It's got Absolutely. all great ingredients inside. It's got lots of protein inside as well. And, and what you're looking at is the variety of nuts that they put inside there. And it's not just standard peanuts. They, no, put, no. they put a little bit of everything in no, there. No, we use the best quality nut butters. That's the thing behind the no sugar brand brand in general, yeah. we use very good quality ingredients. Now, because we use the healthy fats and because we use the high quality nut butters, it's gonna keep you fuller longer. With the no sugar, you're not gonna get the crash. Look at, you're gonna see full almonds, oh peanuts, uh, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds, which are gonna give you that extra fiber and give you that those anti, come on. I, <laughs> Which one are you having? You're having the dark chocolate. <laughs> so freaking good. They're so good. They are absolutely oh delicious. But it's going to keep you fuller longer because of those healthy fats. I love the nuts inside. I know. And I like the different flavors of the nuts because you've got almonds in there and peanuts. Pumpkin seeds. Are there chia in there too? Yeah, chia. And you get... <laughs> you oh God, get we're not supposed to both be eating at the same time. <laughs> and I noticed I couldn't resist. I just started eating when you were. And the chocolate just melts away in your mouth. Mm. Oh. It's so good. 
And you get all of those texture components, mm. which I love. Mm. So you're getting the salty, the sweet, the tangy, but you're getting that crunchy. You're getting those little flecks of sea salt. It's literally a flavor explosion. All right, so let me update you on the numbers. If you want single ship in the chocolate and sea salt, how many do I have left, Kevin? Yeah, in the 20 count. 300 left in the 20 count single ship. If you want to get the 20 count single ship in the salted caramel, how many left, Kevin? Fewer than 100, wow. right? Now I do have the 40 pack. I have a little bit more in the 40 pack and I have auto ship, which means you can get this delivered. And I'm gonna give you a hint and a little bit of a, uh, a tease here. <laughs> Get the auto ship because you're gonna go through these and you're gonna absolutely love them. And we don't, you know, we don't always carry a lot. You know, this is a fresh item, so they're not sitting in a warehouse somewhere. So if you wanna get auto ship, you can sign up. They're free shipping and handling. I just realized we have free shipping and handling on this, which we never are able to do on food. Get them home. You know that time you get home from work, right? And it's, it's not quite dinner yet. And you're thinking, God, I just wish I had something. Or maybe in the afternoon in between, you know, like lunch and dinner when you're at work and you see a box of donuts sitting there. And I'm not telling you not to eat donuts. I'm just saying, <laughs> try doing that every day and then Balance. see, you're not gonna look like this. <laughs> so, so what you wanna do is you wanna snack in a way that is good for you, okay? None of us are gonna, I'm not gonna eliminate chocolate from my world. There's just no, no. way I'm gonna do that. Um, and I, you know, and there are people that will do that. Fine, good for you. But I, I, I wanna do something that I don't feel bad about but that still gives me an enjoyment of life. And chocolate is life, man. I mean, look at all this good stuff that you're gonna be able to eat. 20 count is on three flex for $8.32 and the 40 count is $14.98. Nobody will pay shipping. So if you wanna lock in the auto ship deal, auto ship has free shipping as well. So you'll get them every 30 days. You can customize your auto ship if you want. You can cancel at any time, but I'm just telling you, you gotta try these. It's one of those things, and listen, I've tried really crappy chocolate stuff. At the, you know, you go to the health food store and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I what know. is it? You know what this is? Somebody put <laughs> chocolate on bird seed. Well, you're right? asking yourself, why am I That's, eating this? That, right, and, and I'm like, this is terrible. Or they use an inferior chocolate. You, talk about the, the ingredients per se, because I know that the chocolate you guys use, that's that's like the first thing you taste. Yes, we use fair trade chocolate and we source the best quality nut Yum. butters. And we use, we love to pack our, our healthy fats with coconut oil, which is a superfood. So you're getting very good quality ingredients. You're tasting real mm. chocolate mm. without the crash. This is something that I'm, I always like to tell people to make a better choice, to keep better choices around you so you're not gonna make bad choices. But to your point, life is about balance. So you're gonna indulge here and there, but why not have something that tastes amazing? Yeah. It's got absolutely zero sugar. It's only has two, two net carbs and you get six grams of protein and you're like, well, that's the best candy bar I've ever had. Yeah, and listen, you know, if you're wondering about, well, you know, well, I don't eat that much sugar. Well, listen, you know, sugar is stored as fat, right? You know, when you eat a lot of it, your body doesn't burn it as readily. It can be stored. This, this is a way to be able to get around that whole thing, but still not deprive yourself. Because I am not a person that deprives myself. I mean, I, you know, I work, I work out, I do all this stuff. <laughs> my life is like, I saw a guy, my neighbor, my snowbird neighbor came over and he goes, hey, how you doing buddy, you look good. I'm like, dude, it's all, it's, I'm breaking even. <laughs> all right, that's what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't lost any way. I'm breaking even because I enjoy there's a bakery down the street from us that makes the best multigrain like baguettes. Oh you can't Lord. stop eating them. Oh Lord! You just gotta. It's everything is in. You know, is in, balance in, in is balance. moderation. So don't, yeah, but but I don't want to not have those things. You know, because first Agreed. of all, I want to support that business. So I'm trying to help them out. But then I'm oh, like, yeah. oh my gosh! And then red wine and stuff like. I mean. It's just all about balance, and it you is. can have this chocolate, and you can eat it guilt-free, mostly guilt-free. I mean, you know, the, don't forget, in order to make it good, it still has all the good stuff in it, and there are natural fats that are in there. Your body needs those. Nuts are great for you. You know, almonds are fantastic. Almonds are one of the best ways to get protein out of any of the nuts, oh. if not the number one. I love the protein source in here, but I just, the most important thing is that they taste amazing. I mean. If they're not gonna taste good, you're not gonna go for it. And I promise you, you're gonna reach for this. Keep them in your bag, take them with you. 200 left if you oh, want man. the Get dark em. chocolate in the 20 <laughs> count. There's 200 left. How many left in the salted caramel? Uh, okay, we have six dozen left if you want to wow. get these, okay? So six dozen. Now, I still have them available in the 40 count. You know, it's funny, people are, a lot, well, a lot of people are trying it out. And I, I listen. Doesn't matter, I, I, if, if I can get you to buy and you're only gonna buy the 20, good for you, you need to try it. I would buy the 20, just because if I didn't know what it tasted like. Now that I know, I'd be like, get where's it. the 100 count? Yeah. I'd, buy a, I'd buy a box of these, a case of these things. <laughs>
But because I had the peanut butter cups before, and I remember when I ran out of them, I'm like, dang it, why did I only uh -huh. get the smaller box? But I, I get it with food. I'm a foodie, so try it out. If you don't agree that it is exactly the same, if not better, than a regular sugared bar, and not only that, but you don't get that sugar spike. No, that's you know what I mean? It. That's it. You're not going to get the crash. You're not going to get the up and the down. You're not going to get the carb crash because there's really low net carbs, only two net carbs. Keep and talking, there's Cheryl. absolutely no sugar. <laughs> keep talking. I love them. So you're going to, it's going to keep you fuller mm. longer and it's actually going to keep you satisfied or satiated. So you're not going to do the dip up and down. I love this after dinner. I'm a big chocolate person. So to be able to get this guilt-free, absolutely zero sugar indulgence, and it tastes fantastic after dinner, it's you like, what? win. A little over 100 calories I know bar. it's only 110 what calories. You say? It's 100, that, and look at it. I mean, that's, that's a perfect portion. That perfect. is going to be the best 100 calories you spend <laughs> in your caloric day. Yes. All it's right. True. And but but honestly, it's like you know you you eat a banana. Bananas are great, but bananas are have, are high in fat. Yeah. A banana's probably got more calories than that does. I'm not sure. 100 well, percent close. And the natural glucose is going to spike spike your insulin, which this does not have sugar, zero sugar. So Sh chocolate bar, banana. <laughs> chocolate bar. And six grams of protein. Banana. Win. That's not even a question for That me. is such a win. And it's free shipping and handling. Miss Cheryl, you're the best. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you. much. Thank we'll you We'll let so you much. know when they sell out. That's our smart deal, everybody. Go for it. You're going to love it because uh, it really is good. Hey, by the way, we got other great deals on hsn.com if you'd like to check them out. Um, all kinds of stuff. We got our today's special. Don't know if you saw that. I've got an airing of that coming up the next hour. Everybody needs a shredder. Don't wait till your identity is stolen to buy a shredder and then be like, well, you know, guy was selling one. Why didn't I get one? You got one, Kelly. I know I got my identity stolen. Oh, you had your identity stolen? <laughs> it happens to everybody. It was anyway, the worst. if you'd like to grab anything on .com, go ahead. Last call on the uh, sea salt caramel in the 20 count. I got about two dozen left. And then uh, just about 150 left in the 20 count of the chocolate. Kelly Deidre is Hi. here, everybody. So this hour is called Kitchen Innovations. Uh, we have all kinds of cool things. And I don't know about you, but I have so many different pots and pans in my house, but yes. I'm missing a lot of lids. Yes. And, and if you... Or you have too many lids. <laughs> yeah, and I can't figure out which one's which. <laughs> well, this is brand new, and it's yeah. our Kitchen HQ, which is our proprietary brand. Nope, you can't find this anywhere else. Universal lid. It'll fit on virtually every single pan. I would just say every single pan that you have. Unless it, you have something really weird. It's yeah, fit well, because I don't, I don't have a pot that's bigger than that. Right. I mean, <laughs> unless you're like in a restaurant and you got like a 48 quart pan, which exactly. nobody does. Um, but this is going to automatically adjust to each size. It has a little venting lid so you can control the pressure of what's inside or the steam release. So if you want to keep things covered tight, you can do that. A lot of times when you're cooking rice and stuff like that, it says tightly covered lid. Sure. You don't want the steam to escape. We have your choice of black, red, or blue. And as you can see, this guy will go on any pan that you want. It's only $24.95. They gave us a feature price today, and it's only $8 and change on FlexPay. I love Great this. Deal. Okay, so it replaces all the lids in my house, right? So all these different lids, these are from my, I have a lid drawer. These all came out of my lid drawer. There's five of them here. I can get rid of these. I can donate them. I can throw them into my garage. Yeah. I can put them somewhere else because they no longer have to live in my lid drawer. So I can get rid of those. It's going to replace all of those. But if it was just a universal Universal lid, that would be nice, right? You right. can see it has all the graduated silicone here, but it's not just a universal lid, it's a smart lid. So it will vent, it will act as if there's no lid at all. Sure. And once it reaches a certain temperature, if you have it on the automatic feature, it will automatically start to vent. So Sweet. when you switch it to auto, and I'll just show you, like when, you, when it hits about, it's right around 176 degrees, but that's, it will start to vent. What does that mean for you? Do you see how it'll actually automatically yeah, yeah. pop open and it will vent? What does that mean? That means the interior of whatever I'm cooking, whether it be a chicken breast, a piece of salmon, some vegetables, will remain moist, but you'll get the crispy outside. Now, Yummy. if all the moisture poured back into the food itself, it would be soggy. Now you can get almost that air fried experience in a pan because of that automatic With a lid on it. With a lid right, on it, right. exactly. So I love the fact that it replaces my lids. I love the fact that it has that smart steam vent. I'm gonna go ahead and just crack my egg here because I'm somebody that likes a sunny side up egg, right? Well, what do you have to do? You have to stand a babysit. Yeah, or, or you stick get it under to, the broiler, which stick is it under the broiler. Right, yeah. so this is my eight inch. This is my cast light by Cuisinart. Maybe you pick some of this up here at HSN. It's my eight inch pot. You can see 
the lid fits right on top there. Isn't that fantastic? I didn't have to go digging through my lid drawer. I knew that this was gonna fit right on top. I'm gonna switch it to auto, and then it's actually going to cook on the top as well. And instead you can see of the just steam the is you can staying see the inside. Steam. Yeah. Yep. Once it hits around 176 degrees, that steam's gonna pour right out the top just as I showed smart. you there. Isn't that Love neat? Yep. And that's why we call it our smart lid. It's mm -hmm. not just, there's universal lids out there that you're gonna pay 25, maybe $30 for. This is that smart vent that you're gonna have. Plus it's dishwasher safe. Plus you have the ability to see through it. So it's that glass top you can see there. And then you can see the graduated silicone. So anything we say, anything from eight and a half to 11, but you can see that was my eight inch and mm -hmm. it fit my eight inch as well. You so know, I have lots of pans out. that I had inherited that don't even have lids. Oh yeah, So, of you know, I'll try to sort of rig one of the other lids to kind of fit over the top yeah. or it's too big you don't or have to it's rig too this small. One. There's yep. nothing you can do with this one. It'll fit any pot or pan that you have. And with the silicone material, with the seal that's on the top, it'll keep all the drippy stuff inside yep. and not all over the stove and things like that. And it's gonna help expedite your cooking because if you're sealing in temperature, your stuff is gonna cook fast. Well, and you can see we've got the brown exterior. These chicken breasts look similar, right? One was cooked with the smart lid, one was cooked without the smart lid. So you can see that's nice and brown, it's nice and crispy, crunchy. It vented so that we were able to get the steam. And then this one you can see is almost raw here. It's nice yeah. and pink in the middle. It was the exact same amount of time. Yeah, I don't like this, my chicken raw. I don't like my chicken raw, I don't like my chicken pink. And it's because we had that smart lid. Look right there. Yeah, yikes. You don't want this piece of chicken to feed that to your family. What you do want is this one. And that's because we use the smart lead. Yeah, and you get great even heat distribution throughout. Uh, <clears throat> this is brand new. You can't find this anywhere else. Eight dollars and thirty-two cents is all it'll cost you on your credit card. Again, we have it in the. Uh, you calling that blue teal? Teal. I think that's what we're calling it. Um, we also have it in red, and which I like. And then we also have it in black. And it doesn't matter what type of pan, whether you're cooking in copper, or yep. stainless, or cast iron. Uh, remember that it's it, it is heat resistant because yep. it's made of that material. It's made of silicone. Of silicone, yep. which does not transfer transmit heat. So that's another nice thing. You're not going to burn yourself taking it off. So anything that you don't mind the moisture, you want to seal in the moisture, you want to go ahead and leave it in the off position. So you can see, for example, our frittata. Now I want to add in a little bit of cheese. So it's going to melt that cheese So now you're going to cut that lid off. Top. You're going to cut that yeah. lid off. What's great about it is you can even see this cast iron has a pour spout, but because it is the correct size, it's even going to seal that pour spout because it has a little bit of give. Yeah. So this will even work with something with a pour spout as long as it's within that 11 inch. You know what I love too is that this doesn't transfer temperature. Yep. So I don't know how many of you, you have can actually- grab right yeah, onto it. I, I know there are lids on some of my pans that get as hot as the dang oh, pan. Oh, absolutely. And you have to worry about all that. You're never gonna have to worry about that with these because they universally will stay nice and cool and it's they will allow you to, yeah, look at this. So, so we got this rolling is our large boil. five yeah. quart stock pot. Actually, this is our eight quart Curtis Stone stock pot. A lot of stock pots, most stock pots in fact, don't actually come with the lid. You can see there, it's at that rolling boil. It is venting through the top. It's sealed at the ba at the base. It's venting through the top there. And then if I want to go ahead and put it into the off position, I can turn it off as well. It's going to fit any stock pot, any fry pan. It'll even, I even popped it on top of my Instant Pot yeah. because I only have the pressure cook lid. So I just wanted to keep my Instant Pot you, warm. I popped it right on top of my you, Instant you, Pot lid. You know, I have a, a big lobster pot and it's about a 12 quart. Yep. But the lid does not fit. It, the lid that, that it came with came is with. a kind of a cheap lid mm -hmm. and it's bent and it does not cover it anymore. Yeah. Now and, and this is big enough. That yeah. I can, oh, that's absolutely. a really big pot. And when you're cooking things like lobster or stuff like that, you don't want any boil over. No. The last thing you want is like lobster gook all over your stove. <laughs> this is you, a true story. I'm mean, telling you yes. from experience. It's a hard to clean. You don't have to deal with that. This will fit absolutely any lid. By the way, that's the spoon buddy you see on top there. That's coming up in just a bit. Um, it's so smart. I, I, I so love the spoon buddy. I was I just learning all about it. I am like, I'm going to order fits, so many spoon buddies. It it's going to be ridiculous. It fits right on top of our lid. I, I want to show you again that technology though. So yes, it's your universal lid. It's going to replace all of these that you have in your drawers, right? I've got a dozen or more of these. Oh my gosh. And now I have that entire drawer you with just a them. single lid. Yeah. But it's also your smart lid. So as Guy mentioned, it has that state of the cool touch, you know, up here. It's that silicone. But as soon as it reaches a certain temperature, it's right around 176 degrees. As soon as it, this temperature, as soon as the temperature inside reaches, if you have it on auto, Automatic. watch what happens. It automatically opens. You yep. see my finger pop through there? And all that steam's going to 
vent out. That means you're not gonna get a mushy result. You're gonna get that crispy, crunchy exterior perfect that you every want. time. It's perfect every time. Well, it's almost like your air fryer. And no more digging around for the right lid. Yep. You got one lid that fits every pot or pan in the house. Grab it while you can, $24.95. Thank you, Miss Kelly. All right, I'll save you some Great food. job. Hey, also available, you might have seen out here, we have our beautiful cast iron pans available, uh, and these are gorgeous from Kitchen HQ. This is a 10-inch non-stick fryer that comes with the magnetic trivet. It's $30 off. It's half price today. If you want to pick it up, we have a variety of colors. I recommend this for people who've maybe never used cast iron before. What's nice about this cast iron, you don't have to season it. It comes fully uh, ready to go right out of the box. It doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, react with anything acidic, so you can put wine in there, whatever you want. Easy one-piece construction, and that trivet is a wood trivet that actually sticks to the bottom, because remember, cast iron stays hot for a long time. It's a great pan to bring to the table. If you're blackening anything, it's ideal for that. Deep frying, you're gonna love it. Half price today if you wanna pick that up, and it's a huge customer pick. All right, let's get to the spoon, buddy. I've been waiting for this all morning. All right, so I want you to I want you to think about it. What do you do when you're cooking it? Like, I love to make sauce, right? Big old spoon, you're stirring your sauce. Where do you put the spoon? You try to put it on a plate, doesn't fit. You lean it over here, you put it on the side, it falls off, you get sauce everywhere. Well, that is kind of the, uh, the incarnation of the spoon buddy. The spoon buddy is a place to be able to put your spoon wherever you want, whether you suction cup it to the lid of the pan, suction cup uh, up it to the countertop. It's got several other uses as well. Its inventor is here with us. This is Derek Monk, who I've had the privilege of knowing for a while because I helped train Boy. Derek when we first saw this product, and it is absolutely brilliant. So before I let Derek loose, he's going to tell you everything and tell you the story the whole bit. We're going to give you two of these in red or two in blue or two in black, and the features and the story behind it are going to blow you away. Everybody needs a spoon buddy. We're going to give you two. Welcome to the Hi. show, my friend. Guy, how are All right, you? so I asked you this when we did our training. I'm like, how, why, where, how did did you yeah. come up with a spoon bite? There had to be a reason, right? Has to be a yeah. reason. Yeah, it was actually on Thanksgiving, and we had just like this. We had the mashed potatoes, the green beans, the gravy, all on your stove top. And what was happening is everyone was taking these utensils, and they were making a mess on the countertop. Yeah. Or they were falling in the pot. And it was just really a mess, and that's when it came to me. It would be so nice if you can take your utensil and put it with the food you're serving and have all the mess go right into the spoon buddy, just like that. So that's when I came up with it. Add a suction cup, it can go right on your lid just there's like a, that. There's a suction cup underneath, right? Mm -hmm. So it'll stick to any glass lid. Metal. Look, it's even, even sticking to our uh, to our universal lid right here. Metal lids it'll stick to. Yep. And and Or you can put it right next to, you know, your big pot of sauce and you can utilize it for that. Yep. Everybody gets two of these. They are dishwasher safe. Yep. They don't hold temperature, so the spoons will cool off really, yep. really quick. Exactly, um, exactly. And, and I mean, it, it's, it's the perfect solution for that, right? Yep. A lot of us have the, you know, I used to have one that was made of porcelain. Oh, yeah. Big. That lasted about six months before it broke. <laughs> yeah. Because they always break. They break, they can yeah. chip. They're hard, you know, hard to put in the dishwasher. Look at this. I mean, imagine if you had five porcelain spoon rests. I mean, you, there's no room for it them, is. really. It's just <laughs> such a convenient it. little size. And really what the trick to it is, is that little tab in the, in the front. So that right. tab is going to hold any of your utensils. It's going to hold spatulas. It's going to hold tongs. It's really perfect for all, you know, anything you I, have. Anything I you're love it with. when you're having buffets, buffets because every yeah. you can, you can everybody has a place to put that spoon. Yeah. If you're doing dips, I mean, this there's actually a bunch of different uses for yeah. these. Yeah. And you are going to get two. But look, we did like a crudite platter here, and look yep. at how the spoon rests perfectly right there. I love the color yep. of it, and I love how it looks. It's so unique. So you can use this for your dips when you're doing your wings. You can put your blue cheese in there, and now you've got a place for that little spoon to rest. Now it's got other. It's else. got it's got other hey. things you could do with it. What? Anybody out there that has trouble with their hands opening yeah. jars? A lot of people do. Yeah. My grandparents do. Everyone. So uh, the big yeah. So you take this and you're gonna flip it over, right? And instead of gripping to hard, hard to open your jar, you're yeah. just gonna put some pressure on it and it's gonna open your that jar awesome. just like that. So after you open your jar, you go ahead and maybe put it in your, you know, in your mat or your meatball and your sauces, yeah. everything like that. So nice and easy. And then when you're done, you can flip it over and put it on the lid, and now you've exactly. got the just perfect like this. spoon so rest. So you're serving, you're making a mess here, and you go just like that. So it's perfect, yep, so. Love it. Yep. And by the way, um, because it's uh, made of, uh, the material that it's made of does not transmit heat, yep. you can use this uh, as a grabber for yep. anything. If you want to grab pans out of the oven, you yep. can utilize it for that as well. Well, look at this here. This is just a re regular plate, too, here that we have on this big frying pan, and it's going to pick that plate up. I mean, it's a big, heavy plate. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's going to pick it up, and it's going to turn it into a lid for your frying pan. So, 
Really cool. I, it's ideal. And and so tell me again. Now was it was it your grandmother? Tell me what, yeah. tell us that story again. Yeah, yeah. You know, I didn't want my grandmother, you know, making them, or having to clean up messes after she's cooking. You know, cooking should be an enjoyable process. Yeah. It should be something that you really have fun with. And then when you have a mess to clean up after, it kind of ruins it for you. You know what I mean? So yeah, this it does. Just, this you can just take it off, throw it right in the right in the dishwasher, and you're good to go. And now I and think about like tomato sauce, right? That's that's like the big culprit is that yeah. wood, especially if you're using a wooden spoon. Yeah. And you know the stuff gets everywhere. Yeah. This is ideal. There's even a little lip. I don't know if you can see it there. You can kind of yeah. that yep. holds the spoon in place. Yep. So if you have a big spoon, it's not going to topple over. See that right there? Yep. It's so smart. Exactly. And then let me show you here too, guys. So. This is how strong this thing really is. So you, you can pull on this real hard. Yeah. And then when you want to get it off, there's a little easy push tab right at the bottom. On the bottom. So that way you're not yanking and getting a bunch of mess on you. But like I said, it'll fit on your, it'll go on your metal, your granite, you know, glass, even around the stove top right here. You can put it in a little convenient spot right there. Yeah, so. look at that. If I just, I mean, I just put that down. Yep. And <laughs> it's not going yep, anywhere. Exactly. So if you are making your sauce and you're stirring your sauce, then all you do yep. is put that spoon in yep. and it's going to stay there the whole time. And then when you're done, remember all you need to do with these, I mean, you could put them in the dishwasher if you really yeah, wanted to. They rinse right off though. But realistically, and I got to, there's a little, got to pull that tab off. They're easy to clean. Yep. Um, they're not going to, they they don't stain or anything like that. Yep. And remember you flip it over and you can use it to open up lids. Uh, you can use it for a variety of things. Everybody that orders is going to get two of these. They are free shipping shipping and handling today. So we're not gonna charge you yeah. shipping. Um, if you'd like to get them, keep one, maybe give one to your kids, because yeah. you know your, your sons and daughters or, well, or use, grandkids, use whatever. Use one with the mashed potatoes, use one with the gravy. You know, it even fits spoons that don't have to necessarily yeah. go in the Dude, lip. Thanksgiving, yeah. right? I mean, oh, how many times, perfect. like, because when I do Thanksgiving in my house, I have a lot of buffet servers, yeah. and I'm always worried about the spoon, because then I'm like, oh, they're gonna get that food everywhere. It's yeah. gonna be all over the place, right? Messy, sticky messes everywhere. You've got a place to put it right there, and I, I guarantee people are gonna be like, did you, wait, where did you come up let, with that? Let me show idea? you here too, guys. So let's say <laughs> you're gonna open your, your salsa there. You're gonna open it right up, nice and easy for you. And then you just pour it right in the spoon, buddy, just like that. Then you got your dipping for your chips, anything like that, any appetizer. <laughs> you know, anyone that's gonna come over is gonna be like, wow, where, you know, where'd you get that? See, so. and, I, and I, I, when I saw you do that with that uh, yeah. with the vegetable dip, I was like, I didn't even think about yeah. that. That's, I would use these as a vessel to hold onion dip, a queso, whatever. Remember, you can put hot or cold in there but too. But even when you're holding, so let me show you this too. The Spoon Buddy is exactly one half a cup, all the way up to the rim. So I'm gonna take a half cup right here, this is filled exactly to a half cup, and I'm gonna pour it all the way in the Spoon Buddy, and you'll see, right when I'm done, it's Perfect. right at the rim. Perfect. So you don't have to go digging into your, digging into your, you know, your drawers and trying yeah. to find that half cup. You can just take this and put it right into your, into your pan if you're trying to you know, measure anything. And you know what cup. I like too is, it'll never break. <laughs> Not gonna break, I, exactly. It'll never. <laughs> Because the one I had, the I had cracks and chips broke yep. all over the place. But one, anyway, one thing is make sure you know when you're when you're using it, suction cups clean, the surface area is clean. Yeah, that's that's you get your best results. You're yep. gonna love it. You get two of these. Yep. Choose the color red, blue, or black. Brand new from the inventor himself. And I love your story, buddy. Thank good you. to see you again. Thanks, guy. Appreciate Great it. job as always. Hey, if you want to get ten dollars off and get this for nine ninety five, we got an HSN credit card offer right now that'll give you ten dollars off your uh, any purchase actually that you would like. So utilize it for that or something else, you can always go to hsn.com and check out all the other great items that we have or use it on anything uh, throughout the day or in the next couple of hours while I'm here. All right, it's time for Ninja. Ninja time, I'm excited. Listen, you know what? I have a pressure cooker and I love it. Um, I don't use it all the time. One of the reasons I don't use it all the time is because it just pressure cooks. That's kind of all that it does, which is great. You know, if I'm cooking things that take a long time, but what do I, what do, I do when I want to get, uh, I not only want to get that, pressure cooking, but I want to get the crispy too. Like when I'm doing my, you know, whether I'm doing um, baked dishes in here or I'm doing ziti and I want to melt cheese or all those things, you go to the Ninja. Rochelle Lucas is here with us. Good to see you, my Good dear, to see as you this always. Yeah. Um, Rochelle brings us uh, the, uh, the latest and greatest in the world of Ninja Foodie. This is the XL. We have are the only ones that have it available in the black or the white. You can only find it in gray at retail. Our price is about $50 less than the most popular retailer out there at $219.98. Uh, you can break up the payments into five flexible payments. It's free shipping and handling as well. But this has really changed the way people have started to cook because you can pressure cook and air fry all in one. It's total versatility. The results are amazing. You have an eight quart capacity, which is a nice 
nice big uh, size to be able to do even larger birds. You have tender crisp technology, so you get that crispy finish on anything you want, because look at the difference. Which one would you big rather difference. eat? <laughs> I'd rather eat the crispy <laughs> one, because that's the one that looks great. Um, you can cook from frozen. It's about 70% faster than a traditional cooking method, so you're saving time. Moreover, you're saving money. And I always say, why heat up a giant oven when what you have to cook is about a fifth of the size? It doesn't make sense. This definitely does. Customer pick over 130 five-star reviews. We are gonna show you some things that are gonna wow you. Get it at the lowest price anywhere here at HSN with the only colors available that you can't find anywhere else in the black and white. Welcome. Thank you. That's Thank a lot you. to say, but I love this I item. love it too. And I think it, this really shows you the difference that the foodie does. It, 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 tender crisp technology will you get this nice brown crispy chicken all in one pot, all in one machine. So this is a pressure cooked chicken and there's nothing wrong with having your pressure cooked chicken if you want to do soups or if you want to do, you know, chicken tacos or something. But this is what you want to serve your family. You want it to be finished. And ordinarily you would have to move it to the oven to get this nice tender crisp. And so we're going to show you today how the foodie works and how it's able to do that nice tender oh crispy gosh. skin all in one pot all in one machine we first pressure cook the chicken um and then we swap the top and then we did the pre uh, air crisping lid so you can get that nice crispy skin. You, you know what this reminds me of but i think it's a heck of a lot simpler is how um when you do sous vide cooking yeah. the pressure cooking kind of does the sous vide part it but when you do sous vide you, then you got to put it in the oven exactly. and you got to crisp it up everything is done in one machine it's going to be tender it's going to be juicy it's going to infuse your food with flavor it's going to reduce your cooking time by about 70 percent so we did i think this is about a seven pound chicken you can do up your seven pound chicken you can do a five pound chicken but you do it in a lot less time yeah, yeah, so yeah. when i'm cooking at home i usually do a five pound chicken because it's just me and my husband, but the capacity is there for when you have friends and family over that you can go up to a bigger chicken. And you're doing chickens like that in minutes, not hours. I, I will do a, I will do my five pound chicken usually throughout the week in about 22 minutes. That's crazy. And, and, and it's done, chicken. crisp and everything. Usually yeah. that take you like and an hour and a half. better than in the oven. Better, better than, than in the oven. In the oven. Better yep. than the, in the oven. So uh, the other thing I love about the foodie too is you can do these 360 meals. So what we have here is salmon and bok choy and we've done the rice underneath. So we started with um, pressure cooking the rice pressure cooking frozen salmon. So how many times do you get home at the end of the day and you're like, I don't know what to cook. I'm going to throw a frozen pizza in the oven. And you want something healthy, but you want it to be quick. Now you can do things that are healthy and quick because you can pressure cook your salmon. You can, oh, I should probably use the... Uh... Look, yeah, but look, at how <laughs> but look at how perfectly tender that it is. That salmon is cooked. It's perfectly cooked. It's super tender. It's delicious. You can do your vegetables on the you top. You can just leave it right there. It looks fantastic. It right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we did the rice on the bottom. So a whole dinner done in about 20 minutes. And the rice. All in one pot. Easy cleanup. Look at how it's not stick. How many times have you cooked at rice, rice. At, in, in a regular pot when you're boiling the pot on the stove? Look at that. And it, and it sticks. Now oh. we've done it all in one pot. So we didn't have to get a separate pot for the rice. We didn't have to put the, uh, you know, salmon in the oven. So you're going to have less and cooking time. You're going to have oh. less cleanup. And it has flavor. It's definitely, it's infused <laughs> with flavor. And yeah. anytime you're pressure cooking, it's going to be infused with flavor. So everyone comes with a uh, big eight quart uh, insert, okay? And that's right here. Yep. All right. So, and this is easy clean. It's all nonstick on the inside, right? So simple to clean. That drops in. So the unit itself never really gets dirty. Just what's inside the pan but you can see how deep that is so if you're cooking for a crowd ideal if you're just cooking for two don't worry about it i'm one of those people that, and i always tell people I'm like what's the difference between washing a, a six quart or a two quart there's no difference you still gotta wash it so you might as well cook as much as you can and you might as well get the flavor that that really i i, I say all day flavor in a fraction of the time. That's it's like you cooked it all day. Right. Yeah, it's like you cooked it all day. And yeah. you could slow cook if you wanted. So there are eight different functions on the Ninja Foodie. So you can bake, you can sear and saute, you can slow cook, you can dehydrate. You can also use it as an air fryer. You can use it as a pressure cooker. You can do the combo of using it as a pressure cooker and air fryer, like we did with the chicken, like we did with the salmon and the rice. So really it's it's an eight in one. I, I like to call it a nine in one because it also has a keep warm function. So yeah. when you're doing casseroles, like what I'm about to show you here, oh. you can just keep it warm. So we did two pounds of pasta in here. Two boxes. Two boxes of pasta. Yeah. Now you don't have to do two boxes of pasta, 
but you have the capacity now to do it when you need it. And so what we did is we did two boxes of pasta, we added the sauce, and so it's automatically infusing the pasta with the flavor of the sauce. It's cooking it in less time. I only had to use it all in one pot. And now I'm gonna use the tender crisp technology to do the, uh, to melt this cheese, to get it nice and crispy, and to essentially elevate this a little bit and turn it into a casserole. And now you now is this is the whole difference right here because yes. you'd never be able to do this unless you transferred it to the oven. Exactly, yep. exactly. So normally you'd have to cook the pasta separate, you'd have to cook the sauce separate, you'd have to layer this into a baking pan, you'd have to stick this into your oven. We're gonna do this all in one pot with the tender crisp technology and we're gonna come back to, you, to it so you can see how fast and easy it is that, too. You know, in a year's time, uh, not even that long, how much money will this, this machine will save you? Mm -hmm. How much headache? And let me just tell you this too, it's really hard to screw it up. It, it is. It really is. Like it's easy to screw up things on the stove and mm -hmm. it's easy to screw things up in the oven, but with the digital technology and, and the presets, it is so easy. All you need to do is press a button. You don't even have to do much prep. I mean, literally, when you're when you're pressure cooking, it's liquid in food it and is. some flavoring. It there's is. no stirring. There's none of that because all the pressure inside stays inside, which makes it almost impossible to burn anything. Exactly. Because you have liquid in there, and then that liquid goes into the food and creates another layer of flavor. It is. And you, I just did this backwards to the camera, so that's how easy it is to use. Yes. So basically, you can see all the tender crisp functions here. So you have air crisp, bacon roast, broil, dehydrate. You also have your pressure cooking, steam, slow cook, sear and saute. There's also this keep warm function, uh, function here. So all I did is we swapped the tops. We pr started with the pressure cooking. We removed the pressure cooking lid. I put the air crisping lid on. I set air crisp. I set my temperature and time. Hit start and we're going to have a wonderful baked pasta. And by the way, <clears throat> this whole tray that we have over here, and we'll show you in a sec, this is all dehydrated. So if you, and you know what I did four years ago? I bought a dehydrator. It cost me like 89 bucks. Uh -huh. I could have done it in this, which I, you know, I didn't know back then, but we've done beef jerky. We did dehydrated apples. You can do pineapple, whatever it is. We're giving you the little double tray, the mm -hmm. rack to go with it. In fact, you even get this great little book right here, which is a really good size cookbook to go along with it on the Ninja Foodie. And you'll see inside there's, it's loaded with different ideas and recipes on how you can cook. But if you would like, I also have the big guy. The we big have book. the big, uh, the big ninja cookbook which is also available there's 175 recipes in here and this thing is just loaded so you get you get some recipes but if you want more this book's available it is 34.95 and it's on flex pay as well i always say to people if you're going to invest in this it might not be a bad idea to get the book as well because i get people ask me all the time because i have a pressure cooker uh -huh. What do you make in your pressure cooker? All kinds of things. And I'm like, <laughs> what don't you make in the pressure Well, let me give you the standards that I like to make. So St. Patty's Day is coming up. It's yep. the best way to cook corned beef anywhere. But I also do, I do two corned beefs. I do a traditional one, and then I do another corned beef that I like to, I like to cook it the regular way and pressure cook it. Uh -huh. Then I put a honey glazed mustard mm -hmm. on top of it. That sounds good. And then I put the crisper on, yep. and I bake the top of it, and then you slice that. Best corned beef sandwiches you've ever had. Anybody that loves pot roast, best way to cook pot roast. If you like all-in-one meals, take frozen chicken breast, put some noodles in there, half a cup of wine, some chicken stock, Parmesan cheese, whatever you want, you know, and some herbs, and put the lid on. 10 minutes later, you have a casserole that's unbelievable, and you never stirred anything. You never even set the oven. It's all done in here. You have oven control, but you have pressure cooking. And pressure cooking to me is one of the best ways ever invented to cook. It's been around forever, but gone are the days of the little top that goes tss, and you gotta worry about the thing shooting off like a rocket ship. Never happens. You'll, you'll notice mm -hmm. you never have to deal with that. Everything is done safely so that you don't have to worry. No, their safety is key, and I think they really spent a lot of time in making it really foolproof and really easy to use, that whatever lid that you swap the top on, that's what's gonna illuminate on the front panel. So you really can't mess it up. They made no, it really easy. Yeah, it is easy. All the recipes we're doing today actually come in the cookbook that comes with it, but like you said, as soon as you make two or three things, you're like, what else can I make? What else can I do? Yeah. So it's really, you're, I think you're gonna have a well, lot of fun with you it. You wanna know that you can make lasagna in here. You can make lasagna You wanna know that you can do dishes that normally you'd have to do in there, you can do in here. You can do pies in here. You could do cakes in here. In fact, if you've never had like a cake made in here, yeah. the flavor and the consistency, it is the most moist thing because remember, the liquid stays in. It doesn't evaporate. You know, every other cooking method out there yeah. removes moisture. It does. Every other it one. Does. A grill, saute pan, oven, 
they remove moisture. This keeps the moisture in. It infuses moisture in it. It's like having a little convection oven on your countertop. Yeah. I just baked a cake for a friend of mine. She came over uh, last weekend, I think it was, and I wanted to do something really quick, and so I did a wonderful orange olive oil cake um, in here, and it just it was infused with flavor. It was done very quickly. If you want, wings. If you want white, I'm sorry, no, no, just sorry, a quick yeah. thing. Less than 200 left in white. Remember, we're the only retailer that has white or black. You can only find this in that gray color everywhere else. Yep. We've got both. So here's a, here's a perfect example of where you could pressure cook initially, but then you're not gonna eat wings in a pressure cooker. No. But if you've got the crisper, which this comes with, you're gonna be able to get the crispy results. And I've never seen wings done better than in the Ninja Foodie, never. I agree. And I love the capacity too, because I mean, look at eight bubbling. pounds of wings. Look at how crispy yeah. it is. Look at how it's bubbling. So we f f first start off by pressure cooking. You? Yeah, absolutely. We first start off by pressure cooking them. Oh my gosh. And then we air crisp them. So we air fried them in the same machine. The Ninja Foodie is so smart and the technology is so great that you can do both things in one machine. So we didn't have to transfer oh it to gosh. an oven. We did it all in one. And you've got these wonderful, I love that they're. I love wings. how they're kind of hanging out together. Yeah, yeah. But you could break them up Definitely easily. you could break them up. So they're, they're crispy, they're infused with flavor. They're just like what you'd get at a restaurant. And you know, if you had a party in January for like the big game think about how much you spent if you had it catered or how much time you spent baking wings I mean we just did eight pounds of wings in one machine this is perfect for your parties yeah perfect for anything and, that you're doing on the weekend and Rochelle uh, look, let me look at here yeah. I want to show you something okay <laughs> now look at this so this is this oven is this big all right those wings are this big well I mean why would you heat this up every day or every other day and the energy cost on the running this versus running that, that, that's a fraction of the energy. Mm -hmm. And this is all wasted space. And it has to preheat, it takes forever to do that. You wonder where, why your electric bill goes up because you're using that to use this. Uh, right on the counter. Right Imagine on the counter. holiday when you don't even have oven space because you got pies and everything else in there well, or, a, or a 25 pound turkey. Exactly. All your other stuff could be done in here. Exactly, you can bake, you can sear and saute, but you also, you don't have to use the pressure cooking lid. You can also just use it for, as the air fryer like yeah. we did with these fries. There's, we've got so many fries in here, I can't lift it. <laughs> so we did, uh, four pounds of fries, air crisp them, super crispy, straight out of the uh, freezer. So think about anything that you have that you're keeping. There's an avalanche wow. of fries. Wow. <laughs> anything Holy that you've got in the freezer that you want to cook quick, if you want to entertain, um, even just your weeknight meals. Um, I love that you can cook things quickly, you can cook things efficiently, and get that nice crispiness that you can without frying. So air frying reduces the amount of oil you use by 70%. So this is healthier eating. So you can still have all those delicious, indulgent foods that you love, like your wings, like your fries, oh my God. Uh, like your burgers that we're about to do. And they're super, I hear you crunching, they're super crispy. Um, so you can still have all these wonderful things. And not oily at all. Not oily no. at all. And that's because with the air frying function, with the tender crisp technology, mm. it's surrounding your food with super hot air, 360 degrees. Wow. And I think we have an animation to show you what that looks like. So here's how it works. This is the Ninja Foodie. We're gonna start with the uh, pressure cooking lid and we're gonna infuse it with flavor. We're gonna infuse it with moisture. It's gonna reduce your cook time by 70%. Pressure cooking cooks um, above the boiling temperature of water. So you're gonna really infuse things with flavor and moisture. Then we're gonna swap the top, just like you see there. Now we're using the tender crisp technology, it's air frying, it's surrounding your food with 360 degrees of hot air. So everything that you cook in there with the tender crisp technology is gonna be crispy, it's gonna be brown, it's gonna be like you want it you know, out of the oven, except you didn't have to babysit it, you didn't have to churn it, you didn't have to you know, uh, you know, know, shake your sheet pan in the, in the oven, all of it was done in the foodie. Let me tell you this, if you, if you are kind of like, eh, it looks like a good deal, maybe I'll get that, I know HSN has the lowest price, plus you don't have to pay for it all at once, you only have to pay $44. Read the reviews on hsn.com, all right? This is mostly five-star reviews. There's a few four-star in there, whatever, but mostly five-star reviews. And I'm a guy, I worked in the restaurant business for 20 years. I know every type of cooking method available. And I will tell you, this combines the best of two worlds, literally, even more, when you consider the air fryer. But being able to broil and bake but also being able to pressure cook, because pressure cooking locks in flavor, it helps to lock in nutrients as well, because nothing is escaping. And when liquid has nowhere to go, because that's the basis of pressure cooking, when liquid has nowhere to go, it goes where air is, which is in the food. So if you're cooking a, a, a chicken in here, 
that, that, that flavor of the chicken doesn't escape. It goes back into the food. It helps to tenderize it. But it's like I said with the sous vide cooking, it locks everything in the food, nothing escapes. So you get to taste all the food. You're not losing some of that flavor. It's a healthier way to eat because you don't have to add any extra fat. It's a nonstick vessel inside, but even if you, I mean, the only time you, should, you, you could add fat, if you want to add butter to your rice or to your pasta or cheese, you can do that, but you don't have to start off with that. You know, in a saute pan, you usually have to put oil or butter in there. You never have to do that with this. And the, the best thing, if you are not a great cook, this is for you. This will elevate your cooking because you don't have to be a chef to use this machine. In fact, every decent restaurant out there either uses pressure cooking for certain things mm -hmm. or they use sous vide cooking. The five stars do that because they have the time and the money to do it. But if you don't have the time or the money, pressure cooking is the best way to be able to cook most of the food out there that you want to cook because the flavor stays in. And, and moreover, you can't screw it up. You you can't it's screw hard it up. to screw the food up. It's really, really wonderful too. I think not just for your weeknight meals, but also when you're entertaining. And so we did um, essentially a barbecue in here. We did brats, we did hamburgers. How many of you are like stuck in snow right now and you can't use your grill, you can't go outside? We just did basically a barbecue for eight with the brats. You, <laughs> uh, there you go, there you go. With the brats and with the burgers, we did cheeseburgers and we air fried them. So with this, uh, with the foodie that you're getting here at HSN, you also are gonna get the deluxe rack. And so it's a double rack and I think we we might have a clean one somewhere. If we don't, we'll, we'll pull one out to show you. Um, but basically, you can cook two uh, different layers of proteins in this, and you can flip it around. There's three different ways to use the rack. You can use it to steam. You can use it to uh, broil, like what we did the salmon. And then you can also use it to air crisp, like we did. And here's the double rack here. Uh, guy has it. Yeah. So this is really unique, too, with this setup, because you are going to be able to use it three different ways. So we just used it with the, with the, it is. With the brats, just like this, a double layer. You can also flip it around to use it like I did with the salmon earlier. I love the layered part of it yep. too. Because, well, you know, if you're doing if you're doing full meals, yeah, and you want to have your second course underneath, you can do that as well. I so. use it for my cakes, so I'll put my cakes yeah. in the bottom, and then I use it to to kind of lift the cakes out really easy. Or if you're putting another pan in there yeah. that you have, like maybe you have a little um, like a little cinnamon roll pan, you know, one yeah. of those, and you want to do cinnamon rolls in there, you can do that in there as well. It gives you a little shelf inside, and it rests right inside the unit itself. So we've got the pasta is done on this side if you want to walk on so down. So tell everybody what we did. So what we did first is we pressure cooked two boxes of pasta, dry, hard, right out oh of the box. Gosh, we put okay. the sauce in there with it so it's infused with the flavor. Then we layered it with cheese <laughs> and pepperoni to make it into a pasta bake. Look at that cheese. That's and we crazy. swapped the top and we did air crisping to get this nice brown uh, crispy cheese on the top like you would in your oven, except we did it all in one pot. We did it in, you know, a third of the time and we're going to have easy cleanup too. Either I'm having like a cheese yeah, avalanche Cheese I love it. That's going to be my next invention, <laughs> cheese scissors. Um, and I will tell you this, too. If you look at the noodles, and we'll show you, we'll give you a shot of the mm -hmm. noodles themselves. You can actually put them right in the bowl if you Let want. We'll look the right in there. Sure. You'll notice that the noodles have sort of a deep orange tint to them. That's because the sauce, when it has nowhere to go, it goes into any place where there's air, and there's air in the pasta. So it saturates the noodles mm -hmm. with the tomato flavor. And it, again, elevates the flavor of your food. People are gonna come to your house and be like, you, oh man, that's the best pasta I ever had. Like mac and cheese or whatever it is you're doing, because that liquid is absorbed into a lot of the food. That makes the food more moist, but it also gives it so much flavor, it's kicked up to another level. It is, and it's so easy to clean too. You can look, I mean, we just did a, a cheesy pasta bacon here. Nothing is sticking to the sides. Once we're done with dinner, we can you know, put this in our dishwasher. We're down to 150 in white. All right, so um, I love that it's easy to clean up and that it's one pot cooking and that it's done in less time. You have done nothing. Uh, we, we, you've noticed we haven't had to boil water. Yes. We haven't used the oven for anything, right? We, we've used no other appliances. All we've used essentially is a spoon and some tongs, and we put food in here. A lot of you like to buy your food pre-cooked. A lot of us do that. You know, they make the big racks of ribs that are already cooked. You just have to reheat them. Problem is, and I've tried several of the store-bought brands, they're not that tender. They want you to cook them in the oven for another 45 to 50 minutes to get them there. Yeah. Let me give you a tip. Put them, cut them, and put them in your pressure cooker and let them go in with pressure first and then give them a little bit of the heat on top yep. with the other lid and you will have ribs 
that tastes like competition barbecue. They really do. And the best part is the sauce in the bottom. <laughs> Ladle that over the top of your ribs, yeah. and you will see that these ribs are so perfectly cooked. I mean, and they're fall off the bone. Let, let me show you something. <laughs> that is how you want ribs to be, all right? You don't want them completely falling apart. You want them, and, and competition ribs have, basically you just bite in and it pulls right off. But you don't want them all separated because then, you know, and a lot of times they'll show you that and it's like falling off the bone. If you want to, you can get them like that. Just leave them in there for, for you know, a little extra time. But, and this one's a little bit, I got kind there of a knuckle bone there. But, but what I wanted to show you, if you hold that one, I'll cut through. There we go. There we go. Teamwork. This is exactly <laughs> how you want, and, and people that know ribs know that's what you want. This is the part you bite into, and that is fork tender right there. But look at the caramelization on the back, on the top, because we were able to use the, the crisping lid yes. to get that crunchy texture. Yes, we didn't have to transfer it to an oven. You know, usually when you pressure cook ribs, they kind of fall off the bone, and they're kind of, you know, they kind of look yucky, and you've got to put them in your oven and put the uh, barbecue sauce. We did it all in one pot here. So we pressure cooked the ribs. You can do three racks of ribs wow. in the eight quart capacity. So we, I used to have the six and a half quart foodie and we, I would do one rack of ribs. Now it's like triple. So you can do three racks of ribs, invite Man. your friends over for ribs. Um, we pressure cooked it for about 20 minutes, I believe. And then we did the air crisping for 15 to get all this nice barbecue flavor, the, uh, the caramelization of the barbecue sauce in here. It's never too early for ribs. No, and you know what? Way. Never too early those for ribs. Those are so good. I love our ribs are store -bought. at home. These are store-bought. So you make them at home, they're gonna taste better better than any restaurant you go to, I promise you. And it's gonna you know, save you money, it's gonna yeah. save you time. Easy cleanup, it's all done in one <clears throat> pot so you can put this into the dishwasher when a, you're done. A lot of people are afraid of ribs. Like they're afraid to buy them because they, they're yeah. like, oh no, because if they're tough, nobody will like them. I will tell you, a lot of ribs, most ribs in the package are only par cooked. They yeah. are gonna be tough. And people are like, oh, these are terrible. It's like, no. You need to cook them longer. Yeah. But who's got another hour and a half to cook ribs? The whole idea behind buying them pre-done is so you don't have to do that. Put them in the pressure cooker. Now remember, pressure cooker needs a little liquid. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would do like maybe a half a cup of barbecue sauce and a half, half a cup of water or mm -hmm. chicken stock. Put that in the bottom and then just cut the ribs up and put them in there, all right? Yep. You can put a little extra barbecue on them if you want. And let them go for like 20 or 30 minutes. And then you put the crisping lid on and let it brown them up. It is the easiest thing you've ever done. Regular barbecue takes hours. I barbecue, I got the big egg. It's a pain in the neck. <laughs> I use it twice or three times a year. It's too much work. This is easy. It's very easy. And you'll, you'll I, my husband's always like, are we doing ribs this weekend? Because he knows it's you easy. He knows it's quick. Oh, if quick, you're a dude, yeah, if you're yeah. a guy out there and you yeah, love yeah. ribs, let me just tell you, because, <laughs> and, and, and don't get me wrong. Once or twice a year, I'll get out there and I'll put the charcoal in that dang egg and I'll wait till it's the right thing and then I'll put... It takes hours. It is... I have to put... Some, I mean, if you're doing ribs, it's a, it can be about a six to eight hour thing. If you're doing a pork shoulder, it's overnight. And then you gotta get up and put more charcoal in in the morning. It's work. Yeah. And then the worst part is with me, if I barbecue all day, the last thing I wanna eat is barbecue. <laughs> because I smell like it, I've been living it for freaking eight hours. This, you get this done inside an hour, start to finish, yes. for ribs. For ribs. Yeah. Ten, fork tender, fall off the bone, and then you also have that nice caramelization. And that's, that's what I love about the tender crisp technology is that you're getting that nice barbecue bark on there, you're getting the caramelization of the barbecue sauce. So this is just like what you would get at a restaurant, except now you're able to do it at home, you're able to cook it in less time, you're able to make your own sauces and do your own flavor that you love and you're gonna save money. I mean, to get this at a restaurant would probably cost you three times as much as it would cost you to make at home. Uh, by the way, the book is going, people are going crazy for the book. If you wanna get, we give you the great book that has all these recipes in, but I get a lot of people that ask, what's a good, what is a good pressure cooker cookbook? This is it. It's the big cookbook from uh, Ninja Foodie. There's 175 recipes and inside everything from pizzas to desserts, um, you know, quick bakes, things like that. If you don't have a lot of time but you still wanna eat gourmet food, this is the, the route to take. All right, I, just, just trust me on that. You wanna do seafood in here. You could do every kind of meal, casseroles. I mean, we, you know, we, don't, we don't do a ton of casseroles, mm -hmm. but it's really one of the best things that you can make in here, because you could take food from frozen. Yes. You take frozen chicken breasts and just throw them in there with some noodles and some liquid and some cheese and some herbs and spices or get one of those packages of that French onion soup mix, you know, the mm -hmm. miracle stuff. 
and throw that in there, put the lid on, and 30 minutes, dinner is served. Macaroni and cheese, the best I've ever had, comes from the Ninja Food. I love it. I love that you can make it like a casserole. So we started with two boxes of macaroni and cheese. Each one of those noodles is infused with cheese flavor because we pressure cook them together. So every little noodle is gonna have a bite. So it's not gonna taste like, you know, Ma plain noodles with cheese. It's gonna taste like cheesy noodles. Then we topped it with breadcrumbs and butter and used the uh, air crisping lid to get this nice crispy That's crust ridiculous. on the top. So it's a wonderful thing for casseroles. If you have um, any family gatherings on the weekends, maybe with your church or your work, that um, is so, you're gonna that love is so good. doing casseroles in the yep. all one pot cooking, all easy cleanup. You can see that it's coming off the side very easy so we've done a, a, a cheesy casserole here with the mac and cheese nothing is sticking to the side so easy cleanup one pot cooking it's gonna and, save and, you time and, and if you wanted to turn that into like a dinner because I've done it mm -hmm. go to the supermarket if you want to or you can have your you can have stuff you can make it right in here but I even like when I'm in a pinch I buy like uh, one of the rotisserie chickens yep I shred that up and put it inside there easy but you can make you can do your the chicken, chicken here yeah <laughs> in here which is even better and then you've made this because the boys when we go skiing yeah. all the danny and all his buddies they love alfredo because mm -hmm. they're kids and they, they just don't care yeah <laughs> and so we make it we do pulled chicken and we yeah. just throw it right in there with the, with the uh, macaroni and cheese throw some peas in there and you've made a whole meal that is gourmet but it took a fraction of the time and listen if it just saved time it'd be like oh cool you know, like a lot of things just save time and don't eat, really add that much to flavor. This saves time, but the results are better the results than are traditional better. cooking. They really are. They really are. And Some I love that you can do... afraid of pressure cookers, and they yeah, shouldn't be. No, there, there's so much... Um, the technology is so good that no matter which lid you're going to use, it's going to light up the right buttons for you to use. And I would love to show you again how many different things mm. you can do with a Ninja Foodie, because it's not just a pressure cooker. Yummy. It's not just an air crisper. You can also bake. You can roast. You can broil. You can steam. You can dehydrate. So really, it's like a nine-in-one. It's going to be your best friend in the kitchen um, year round. You can adjust the temperature and time. Um, it's got everything lit up here so you're gonna know which buttons to press with which lid that you're using. And the cookbook makes it so easy. So the cookbook that comes with it, everything we've cooked today that you've seen us make um, is included in the cookbook that you get with the Ninja Foodie. And then you're gonna wanna get the bigger cookbook because you're gonna be like, I've made all these things and I, I'm so excited, I wanna do more. Um, so I love that you can do all eight of these different things with, this, with the pressure, with the steam, with the slow cook, you can make yogurt, you can do sear and saute. You can air crisp, bake, roast, broil, dehydrate, and even keep warm. So when you are having family gatherings, when it is time for the holidays, you know, you can make a larger capacity of food, you know, three racks of ribs, a whole, you know, two pounds of pasta when you have all of your family coming over. But then you can just use it for your weeknight meals like we did with the salmon, um, you know, with the burgers. If you want to do a burger night, if it's snowing outside. Here in Florida, I just, the mosquitoes love me. So I like to, I like yeah. to cook inside as much as I can. Um, you can do dessert. And so this is a really quick and easy dessert that we did with cobbler and we did this in probably about 15 minutes And so we started with pressure cooking frozen berries for two minutes So they went from frozen actually we did peaches this time we did berries last time So we did a peach cobbler and then we just added um, you know some oatmeal and some mm. brown sugar and some butter and some sliced almonds And look at this delicious peach cobbler yeah. that we made. I mean you can't go wrong I Breakfast, mean, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, you yeah. can cook everything in here. And like I said, the results are, are like gourmet. I mean, honestly, the best chefs out there know what pressure cooking is all about. And they know how great it is. Um, and they'll go and invest in these giant industrial machines. This is perfect for home use. We have the lowest price anywhere. Our, in fact, our price is normally $240. Today, it's $219. Um, if you go on retail, it's about $260, $270. So we have a great deal. We have flex pay, which means you don't have to pay for the whole thing at once, only $44. And the shipping and handling is free, and it's 20 bucks to ship this. So it's costing us money to get it out to you. You got 30 days to try it out. You'll absolutely love it. Remember, you have your choice of white or black. The, in the white, I'm down to the last hundred, if you want to pick up white. Everybody gets this, the, uh, the insert. The, uh, the cooking insert, everybody gets the air fry basket, everybody gets the double rack, which makes this exclusive. Nobody has all that. You're gonna get all those extra pieces to go along with it. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna get the ease of, oh man, let Ninja cook it. Let yes. Ninja take care yes. of it. It's like the cooking of the future, you know what I mean? Where you add all the ingredients in a button and then dinner's done. <laughs> it's like having a chef in the house. So, and, I, and I honestly, if you don't know how to cook, you need this, all right? If you do know how to cook, then you'll get it, and you'll totally love it. Great job, Michelle. Thank, Thank you, you so fun. much. I can't, those ribs are not going to last. <laughs> if you'd like to order it as well, 692982. Customer pick. Everybody loves this. Read the reviews if you're on the fence about it. Also available, if you want to pick up one of our uh, incredible uh, KitchenAid mixers, 
We have those available as well. This is the 325 watt. This is the headstand mixer. Uh, comes with that flex edge, which is great for stirring up your batters and things like that, or your cookie doughs. We have all these colors available and we put it on sale. Not 330, 259. Flex pay, free shipping and handling. If you've always wanted to order, uh, own one of these fancy mixers and you leave this out, don't put it away. This is a beautiful piece, iconic. And you can have one of these as well. It's also a huge customer pick. All right, we got Andrew Lessman's gonna give you some information on looking and feeling good with some of his stuff and we'll be right back with more, stick around. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash HSN card. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent 